Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about sound. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you're in a quiet room with your eyes closed. Suddenly, your friend claps their hands together. You hear a clap sound. But have you ever wondered how that sound travels from your friend's hands to your ears? Sound is a type of energy that travels through the air or other materials like water or solid. When something makes a sound, it creates tiny vibrations or movements in the air molecules around it. These vibrations then travel in waves, kind of like ripples in a pond when you throw a stone in. When the sound waves reach your ears, they make your eardrums vibrate too. Your eardrums are very sensitive and can feel even the tiniest vibrations. These vibrations are then turned into electrical signals that travel to your brain. Your brain is like a supercomputer that understands and interprets these signals. It knows that a clap sounds different from a bird chirping or a car honking. That's because each sound has its own unique pattern of vibrations and your brain recognizes these patterns to tell you what you're hearing. Sound can be loud or soft, high or low. Think of a trumpet playing a high note. versus a drum beating a low sound. That's because sound waves can be fast or slow, and the faster they vibrate, the higher the sound. If they vibrate slowly, the sound is lower. We use sound to communicate with each other too. When we talk, our vocal cords create vibrations that turn into sound waves. These waves travel through the air and reach the ears of the people we're talking to. Now here are fun facts about sound. Sound needs a medium to travel. Unlike light, which can travel through empty space, sound needs something to move through. That's why you can't hear sounds in outer space because there is no air or any other medium for the sound to travel through. Animals can hear sounds we can't. Some animals, like dogs and bats, can hear sounds that are too high-pitched for us to hear. They have special ears that can pick up these high-frequency sounds. Sound is used in sonar. Sonar is a technology that uses sound waves to navigate underwater. It's like a special hearing system that submarines and dolphins use to find objects and communicate in the water. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about sound today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!